What's up everybody, my name is Dwight and welcome back to GeForce Garage. A while back we built a pretty nifty dual system rig for both 4K gaming and capture. Today Lee Harrington of PC Junkie Mods brought in his recently built 2-in-1 PC to show off, but this one is in probably the craziest open air chassis that we've seen in a while. Well, welcome back to the garage. Lee, what did you bring us today? What about the FSP T-Wings chassis? It's more of an art piece. It reminds me like of a Ducati or a super sports car or something. Nice. I've never seen this case before. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? It was originally debuted at Computex last year. At that time, I think it was only a single system with a lot of storage and stuff. This time, we went for the dual system, so you could basically put two gaming PCs in it or a capture PC and a gaming PC all in one. Is it an easy case to put water cooling in? I would say yes. It is probably pretty straightforward to put water cooling in, but the way I did it, no. <laughs> all the water cooling is all Bits Power, and Bits Power has a reservoir with a flow meter built in as well. The flow meter is separated from the reservoir. What I did is I took the same reservoir for both sides, and I ran the flow meter from one side to the other side and vice versa. So you see liquid from both PCs on each right. side. Yeah, so it complicated things because of the fact that I have all these red tubes and then all of a sudden there's a blue tube that pops up. So what was your experience in building this? So it's been a while since I've had the enjoyment to build in a case like this. This case in particular is like a puzzle because if you do the dual PC, you have one PC that you need to build and another PC you have to build. Well, they're joined at the hip, so you gotta kinda do the wire management before you put these two guys together. And all the RGB in this setup is all ran off of the MSI Godlike. So it was fun because I've never built in anything like this. Right, I would assume since it is sort of an open air chassis and you have two PCs, all of those cables, they gotta go somewhere. Right. And I feel like I don't really see a whole lot of cables here. Because that's where the time was spent. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, there's about a two and a half inch gap in the center and there's just enough room in there to put pretty much all the wire management. So I got a bunch of clips in there. I wired in the USBs and stuff before I put anything in it. So that way I was kind of one step ahead because when I pull it apart, those cables don't need to really go anywhere. They could just stay. All right, well, it looks awesome. You did a great job, but what are the actual specs of both PCs? So for the streaming side, we have the MSI Z390 Gaming Edge AC motherboard. We have an Intel i7-9700K. For storage, I went with the Samsung 970 Pro. On the gaming side, we have the MSI Godlike X570 motherboard with the 3800X. For the video card, we have the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti Gaming Trio from MSI. And then for storage, we have the Corsair PCI Express 4.0 2 terabyte. For RAM for both systems, we have the G-Skill Trident Royals. I have a gold edition on the Intel side and silver on the other. For the power supplies, we have the streaming power supply under the gaming side. It's the FSP Dagger Pro 650. And then the gaming power supply is under the streaming PC, but then it's also tied into the streaming loop because I didn't want to add more heat to the gaming side. The fans are the Lee and Lee Bora digital RGBs. Then of course, all the cables are done by mainframe customs. Well, thanks, Lee, for coming on by. Thanks for having me. Looking forward to your next project. That case was insane. I seriously want one of those for my own setup. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button down below, and we'll see you for the next one.